Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to CSS Animations Lesson 1. <laughs> okay then, dogs. So, what is a CSS animation? Well, basically, a CSS animation makes it really easy to animate web elements on your website without the need to use JavaScript or jQuery a lot of the time. So it's just pure CSS. And that's really cool. It speeds the whole thing up a lot. And the great thing is it's super easy to master once you get the hang of it. Yeah, there's a little bit of new syntax involved and you're gonna to have to learn that. But once you get used to that syntax and learn how to create these animations, it's just really simple to create some cool looking effects on your website. So I'm going to introduce CSS animations to you by creating this nifty little Mario Kart scene right here. But then we are going to move on to some more kind of practical web examples, such as this one, adding an item to your basket and also going through um, a pop up animation. Just a nice little way to add a pop up to your website, as well as a couple of other things as well. All right, so here's a pretty full list of what we are going to be covering. Uh, first of all, we're going to take a look at transforms and transitions. Just keep it easy to begin with. Then I'm going to introduce keyframes, which are like the powerhouse of animations and where we control them. Uh, then we're going to move on to the animation basics using that Mario Kart example I showed you a minute ago. And then finally, we're going to look at some practical examples that we can use on the web. There's also a couple of things you should probably know before you start this playlist. The first one is CSS. That is a dead cert. You need to know what you're doing in CSS because after all, we're controlling these animations using CSS, right? Uh, the second one is HTML. Again, we're going to be controlling HTML elements. They're the things that are going to be animating on the page. So it's probably going to be a good idea if you know a little bit of that as well. And uh, thirdly, jQuery is not absolutely essential, but we might start using it just to add a little bit of interactivity to the pages, such as click events and that kind of thing. All right. So if you don't know any of this, I've got playlists on all of these three things on this channel right here. I'll leave the links to those down below so you can check those out first of all and then come back. Okay, so just a couple more things before we get started. Uh, the first one is this, my GitHub page. I've uploaded all the kind of core base files for this playlist to a repository on GitHub. So you can come in, download those by clicking the download zip button, and then you can kind of work along with me through those examples. Uh, I'll leave the link to this page down below. Secondly, I am gonna be using brackets to um, make these files, or go through these examples rather. So if you wanna download the same text editor, you can do, it's absolutely free, brackets.io. Just press this button down here, and uh, yeah, I'll leave the link to that down below also. And uh, finally, before we get started, I just wanted to quickly mention browser support for animations, because although it is pretty well supported in most modern browsers, you can see there's a lot of green around here. There are a couple of issues with uh, Internet Explorer old versions and uh, other things as well around here. So it's probably worth taking a look at before you start using CSS animations on your live websites. But uh, I'm going to be using Google Chrome for this tutorial playlist and uh, everything's pretty well supported in that. So we shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Okay, so that is your whirlwind introduction to CSS animations. Um, I hope you enjoy this playlist. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Don't forget to share, guys, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.